In the last video, we added infinite scroll to this transaction list page. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show the HX indicator attribute in HTMX. And we're going to see how we can use this to display feedback to users when an HTMX request is in flight to the Django server. And we're going to add that to this infinite scroll that you can see on the page here. So when we get to the bottom of this table, we're fetching new elements from the back end. Now what I'm going to do to start with in this video is go back to VS Code and I'm going to open views.py. And this is the view function that we wrote in the last video. And this is the function that will return the next page of transactions to the user when they get to the bottom of that table. Now we're going to enter introduce some artificial latency here. So let's import the Python time module. And I'm going to call the time.sleep function for two seconds. And that's basically going to sleep for two seconds before it attempts to get the next page of data. So if we go back to our page now and refresh this page, you can see that when we get to the bottom, it's taking two seconds to load the next set of data. And then that's going to repeat every time we get to the bottom until there's no data to be fetched from the back end. Now that's not the best user experience, as you can see here. We don't have any indication that there is a request in flight and that more transactions are being loaded. So what we're going to do is use HX indicator and we're going to use a component from Daisy UI in order to give the user that visual feedback and integrate that with HTMX. Now let's look at these loading spinners in Daisy UI. I'm going to copy the HTML for this and let's take the large spinner that you can see here. So we're going to copy this span element and I'm going to go back to VS Code and let's go to the template transaction dash container.html and we're going to add this span right at the bottom of this. So just below the final div, let's just paste that span in here and we need to add a class here. I'm going to add the class of HTMX dash indicator. Now, as well as the classes, I want to give this an ID. So we're going to add an ID attribute here and let's just call this spinner. Now, the classes from Daisy UI that you can see here, they're going to be responsible for actually rendering the content in this spinner. So even though this is an empty span, it doesn't contain any children. The classes here are going to define what we see on the page. So we'll see that in a second. But now we have the span with the ID of spinner. If we go back up to where we sent the HTMX request for the paginated data, and that was here in this final table row that has the trigger of revealed, what we can do is we can add a new HTMX attribute and that's the HX dash indicator attribute. And we can set that to the spinner ID. And that's actually all we really need to do here. So let's go back to our page of transactions. I'm going to refresh this page and you can see we have the spinner at the bottom as we're loading new transactions. So now the user has some feedback that something is going on and that more are being loaded. And of course you could style that spinner however you want. You might want to center it in that particular row just below the table. But the important thing is that the user now knows that something is going on as we fetch the next page of transactions in this case to show in the table. Now, why does this work? Let's go back to the documentation for HX indicator. So what this attribute does is it allows you to specify an element that will have the HTMX request class added to it for the duration of the request. And it's used to show spinners as we've just done or progress indicators while the request is in flight. So if we look at the example here, we have HX indicator set to the ID of spinner. And that ID refers to this image tag here. And that image tag also contains a class of HTMX indicator. Now we added that too. So what does that class do? It defines an opacity transition that will then show the spinner. So HTMX defines this automatically. It basically defines a transition between opacity zero and opacity one for the spinner. So when we add the HTMX indicator class, HTMX adds these styles here. We have opacity set to zero and we also define a transition. And that transition is 500 milliseconds for the opacity. So when that changes, there's going to be a transition on the opacity. And when the HTMX request class gets added, when the request is in flight, that sets the opacity to one and that's going to kick off that transition there. So I hope that makes sense. That's the reason we're adding the HTMX indicator class to the spinner that we're targeting with the HX indicator attribute. Now we don't actually need the sleep call that we have in views.py so we can actually remove that. That was just for demonstration purposes. Because we're running locally and we don't have a lot of data here, the actual request to get the next page of data is going to be very quick. So we might not see the spinner for too long here. So let's refresh the page and you can see very briefly the spinner at the bottom but we don't really need that here. But in a real system you definitely want to be giving the user feedback as they send the request and they're waiting for new data 
to appear on the screen. So that's a very short and simple video here on how we can use the HX indicator attribute from HDMX along with some components from DAISY UI in order to give the user feedback when HDMX requests are in flight. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And if you'd like, you can contribute to this coffee campaign. We're 61% of the way there. And if we get to 100%, we're going to release this Django REST framework series on YouTube instead of on a platform like Udemy. So if you want to donate to that, there's a link in the description. It would be greatly appreciated if you want to support the channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.